called Kashitsa. Oh my days. Only, um, it's not People live in these places. Oh, I love you more than words can say. Yo, my beautiful people, we are back here again today on this beautiful day, guys. Today, we are going to check out the five worst neighborhoods in Europe, guys. Five worst neighborhoods, all right? But before we start this video, guys, Merry Christmas to all of you guys, okay? And happy holidays, all right? Let's get this one started. Let's get this started. You might didn't know this, but there are many crappy neighborhoods in... Wait, wait, wait. Did he say you might didn't know this? What? You might didn't know this, but there are many crappy neighborhoods in Europe and in some cases, it's even called ghetto. So obviously, wait. this is a topic of today's video. So without further ado- Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me this is Europe. This is Europe. Do let's get straight into the video and check out five worst neighborhoods in Europe. Number five, Ferentori, Romania, Bucharest. Well, we are already back in Romania, and this is a country with a long socialist planning traditions that evoked in mass urbanization back in the days. And this urbanization has affected almost every city in Romania. Well, the first years after 1989 revolution caused end of housing planning by the government. So these I mean, okay, I know that Romania is one of the uh, poorest countries in Europe. Okay, but how can a place look so trashy like this? So trashy like this, worse than a uh, worse than a third world country. Neighborhoods were not getting any money from the state. Ferentori is a typical example of post-socialist ghetto where many segregated groups now live. Fortunately, things have changed a lot since then. When publications like Daily Mail were ranking Romania fourth on the list of the most dangerous places in the world to visit with almost 70,000 crimes committed each year. Today, 70, the neighborhood 000. is starting to look just like a regular neighborhood in Bucharest. But there's... Bucharest is the capital. So I've been to Bucharest, yeah? I mean, it looked okay. It looked okay. I, I, I didn't see a lot of this rubbish that I was talking about. Maybe I stayed in a pretty nice place maybe that was why but in the Bucharest itself I had to walk around went to the market it was not this bad bruv still a bit of work left to be done more and more families and working class people are moving in the buildings are being renovated supermarkets are being built restaurants are being opened and regular people with normal lifestyles live here all right guys I hope the best for this wow. neighborhood I hope we the can best get for them. to number four. I hope the best for you guys. Number four, Stolipinovo neighborhood in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, the five worst neighborhoods in Europe. Okay, and it's going for the poorest countries in Europe. Okay, I get that. But I'm still waiting for a surprise because I think that's going to be a surprise soon. This district is located on the outskirt of the city of Plovdiv. And it's probably the biggest gypsy or Romani ghetto in the Balkans. But this one differs from other Roma communities in Bulgaria as only 5,000 inhabitants identify themselves as Christian and Romani-speaking Roma. Since the Muslim and Turkish-speaking majority claims to be of Turkish origin. Now let's talk kind of about the history and where the problem started. As in wow. Romania, after 1989 revolution, there have been almost no investments in the neighborhood. In combination of illegal housing, this led to severe problems with regards to electricity and water supply. And I bet they don't have problems with asylum seekers. Yeah, like I'm not even decent. I'm not even decent them, bro. I'm not decent them at all. But you see the state of this city. You see the state. Wow, like talk about poverty, yeah? I know people talk about Africa, they say Africa is poor, Africa is poor. Africa is poor, there are many poor places, you know? But this one here, bro, ah, like the bottom, bottom, bottom. All of this rapidly increased poverty 
and bad living conditions. It is really bad. Which makes this place one of the worst places to live in Europe. Number three, Hanov, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. This small district in the outskirt of the Most City has been built for miners that were working in the nearby factory in 1978. They lived there together with Roma coming from Slovakia. The buildings could not kept in good condition and in the end wow. most of the inhabitants left and today it serves as a Roma ghetto. Living conditions there are so bad that the This looks like an abandoned old city. Like everybody just opts and left. They just packed their things and ran away. Absolutely. Place is one of the worst ghettos in Central Europe. It is very bad. In any case, we can expect People the demolition these places. of one of these buildings in the near future. As the Czech government has announced that in 2022 it will take a place. Number 2. Lunik 9, Eastern Slovakia. This location is not so far from the number three. We're situated Wait. Slovakia. This location is not People live in these places. Oh my days. Not so far from the number three. We're situated in eastern Slovakia in the second biggest Slovak city called Kosice. Oh my days. On the outskirt, there's a ghetto called Lunik 9. There's one pretty strange thing about this nasty neighborhood. And it's that it used to be very modern area with very deep. What is the government doing? What is the government doing for crying out loud? Allowing your citizens to live in the shit all like this. Yeah. I know sometimes we've complained about the block of flats even in the UK. But bro, it is it is well, well, well much cleaner than, than this. Yeah. Compared to this, the ghettos and the the uh, council estates, yeah, the block of flats in London and the worst areas are like palaces compared to what I'm looking at right now. Decent quality of living. It was inhabited by police and army forces in their families. Minority were Roma people. The task of the police and other forces was to integrate the Roma into society and life in this place. However, they did not integrate into society yes, and the absolutely. officers began to leave the city. Therefore, the city had no supervision and became a place without any laws. The break occurred when gypsies from illegal camps moved here. Without knowing how to use modern devices... You see? Illegals. Illegals again. They don't have to mention illegals. Oh my god. Like, how can you stay in a place and not look after it? Like, it's a basic human thing to put things in order and live in cleanliness. They lived here on their own. Today, the city is full of garbage and houses are in terrible condition. Terrible. The once modern city is now the largest ghetto in Europe. Yet before we start with number one, I would like to mention that number one certainly does not mean the worst because in this case it's definitely not the worst however let's get into it so it's not the worst <laughs> but you put it as number one <laughs> okay yeah agree. okay 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 let's just accept the disclaimer we accept it yeah we accept it number one naples suburbs the lee naples. valley residential complex in the naples suburbs which is infamously known as an organized crime scene will be demolished as the city Even management Italy. decided. The housing estate is a symbol of brutalist architecture, poverty and mafia gangs. It became infamous in 2004 when the whole of Europe witnessed one of the greatest wars of the local clans. Residents of the housing estate now hope that the dark period in their suburbs, which was later made famous by the series, will end up with demolition. Even Italy made the list. Can you believe it? Okay. I mean, people here in Europe, 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 just assume the whole of Europe is very rich. But no, it is not so. Alright? I mean, thinking about worst neighborhoods, I didn't expect this. Uh, I didn't expect this at all. I didn't expect it to be this bad. I was like, okay, I'm sure it's going to be bad. But, alright, let's see how it is. But this is terrible. Terrible. Disgusting. What are the governments 
do it like how can you not look after your people okay we understand that maybe the economy might be really poor but there are basic things you can do cleanliness ha ah, look at the rubbish everywhere look at people living like oh um, you would say africa is poor africa is not this bad yeah countries africa are not this bad okay some some are but come on europe Europe, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, me boy guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Okay, and um, well, I pray for these countries and I hope their governments wake up. If they don't wake up, the people need to wake up and make the government do something, yeah? All right, then, guys, I'm going to catch you next video. Love, peace out. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shines in my way.